What's up guys, welcome back to JK Fishing. And we're out trolling on Lake Ontario right now. And I decided to take some time to show you guys how to properly let out and set a dipsy diver. As it can be a real issue when you're starting to, uh, or learning how to troll on Lake Ontario. So we decided to take a quick, quick break in our trip and show you guys how to do this. So right away, when you're trolling with a dipsy diver, we got 30 pound mono and we got what's called a snubber. Off the dipsy. We got a snubber. So what it does is it takes a little bit of stress off of the dipsy diver or off the line when you go to pop it. Now you can run the snubber behind the dipsy or in front. Most people run it behind. That works perfectly fine. We like to run it in front just because I'm extra cautious. I don't want to snap my line in case I go to pop it and it's tangled or something's wrong. And I instead of the snubber stretching line just snaps boom that's eighty dollars gear work so snubber is very important make sure you get that whether you run it before or after the dipsy that's completely up to you and then right here i got a size one uh dipsy diver it's just a clear uh deeper diver 107 and these these bad boys are all you need just size one honestly you can set it out anywhere from you know 10 40 50 60 feet down and it can cover all your depths for salmon here, even walleye, they work perfectly well. And clear is a great color to go with because it blends into the water and it doesn't stand out, doesn't do anything, so the fish can focus on your flash or fly or whatever's running behind it. So then I got about, uh, I'd say five or six feet of 30 pound fluoro. Um, That's about eight feet there. Yeah, a little off, this is long. Uh, now, you don't need too long, I believe, but I like to have that. Then I got just a mustad swivel to here. I got a green flasher, or sorry, uh, spin doctor. I do not know exactly what color combination this is, but green's been working for us. Decided to maybe downsize our uh, paddles a little bit, so we'll try a little spin doctor here. And then about a foot of line to our fly. But it's two feet there, Joe. Okay, you know what? My measurements are off. Um, yeah. Make sure when you're measuring out your feet on the flash or fly, before I let, show you guys how to let out the dipsy, make sure you guys test it in the water and kind of see uh, what length works best with the, uh, or the spin doctor flashing, spinning, and the fly behind it. Make sure it looks good. You can always cut it shorter, but never cut it too short because then you can't go back. So yeah, that's, that's what I run behind my dipsies now. I'm gonna show you guys how to let it out exactly. So I'm gonna, jump right back to the dipsy and show you guys something. I have it set to, you want, there's there's three settings. There's a right and a left. So I'm going to set it to two and a half. I never go all the way to three because sometimes it can slide out and then it becomes a mess. Two and a half right. So that's going to sit like that and go out to, if you're facing that way, to the right of the boat. So what I'm going to do is stand in front of the boat for a reason. You don't want to go at the back. Because I'll show you in a second. You can take your line here and you can throw it out in the water. Make sure it's spinning properly. And then check your dipsy. Just like that. See what's planing out to the right of the boat. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open, make sure your clicker's on, reset that uh, line counter, and make sure it's on the outside of all of your downrigger line. You've got a planer way out there. I'm not worried about that. But on the outside of your downrigger, and then just let it out nice and slow. And I'll take you guys to the back of the boat over here. What you're gonna do now is this is up to you. This is something I like to do because sometimes it gets a little hectic on the boat. I will take my rod, make sure you're letting up the line slow. You don't want to let it out too fast or it can kind of catch itself and then the action won't be as good. Put it in here, close it. What you're gonna do now, loosen up that drag. And what you can do is you can set it just like that slowly going out and now I can focus on other lines on the boat and come back to it that's a good depth tighten up done I got my drag set nice so if fish takes it it'll pull and it lets it out on its own so that's basically all you need to do that's the setup we use for our dipsy divers it's how you let it out and it's how you make sure you don't get any tangles because these things can be a pain in the ass trust me but if you use them properly dipsy divers are an asset to uh to a fisherman trolling on the Great Lakes. So anyways, guys, make sure you like and subscribe 
and we'll see you next time on JK Fishing.